if you had to take her poop somewhere, would you still be able to get sexy with her? It's the Scott and Alley Not For Air podcast. The rules are gone. The shirt is untucked. Here's Scott and Alley. Hey, welcome to the Scott and Alley. Hey, what was hey. that? Hey. hey. Welcome to the Scott and Alley Not For Air podcast. I don't know what's going to happen this week after last week. Uh, that, I feel like that's every week. What's, I know. What's going to happen this week after last week? Uh, I'll start with this. So I have a little, pro, I love pro tips. I have come, I have to say. Nice lean in. I'm I have listening. To say, <laughs> so what did I tell you? <clears throat> There's a couple of things that I feel like I have given during the show. And now this one's going to bleed into the podcast. The first one is to buy a pup cup for your kid instead of an, an actual kid's cone because it's cheaper. Love that idea for the kid because it's a struggle when they're small to eat in the, a kid's scoop that has three scoops. Really? Yes. And I now can't. you're just charging me five ninety nine. Give me the one scoop for two bucks. That's why you get the pup cup. Yeah. The other one, I can't remember what it was, but I gave you such a good life hack recently and I was so proud of myself too. Clearly it's so good. It was saving <laughs> money. It was on the show. Okay, but I have a different one and this is not money saving whatsoever. But this is one of my friend's life, ha- life hacks. So we talked about on the show that <clears throat> marijuana just became legal in Ohio yeah. uh, as of Tuesday, I believe. So we're filming this a couple days after. So anyway, so he was saying, he's like, you know, maybe I won't have to like do my trick anymore. And I was like, oh, what's your trick? So he's like, my wife hates that I smoke weed. So what I do is uh, we get pizza delivered usually about once a week. So he's... <laughs> He has his drug dealer pick up the pizza. Oh, my God. This is so great. <clears throat> he picks up the pizza and he puts the weed in the pizza. Oh. <laughs> is it the way, this is the way actual old drug busts or drug deals used to go down, I think. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I, at least I've heard this story, but it was like far worse than weed or something like that. And what's so funny, his wife is like, we get the same delivery driver every single every time. Week. That's so <laughs> weird. So he's like, maybe I can stop doing it because he's like, it really doesn't save me that much m- money at all because I have to end up tipping him. So, you know, I buy it online, right? That's, oh. yeah, so he'll buy the pizza online. Oh, not oh, the weed. I thought you meant the weed. No, <laughs> he'll buy the pizza online. And then, so he goes, so there's, there's that. That's the first thing. He goes, but then I have to pay him extra. There's like another fee tacked on, even though I'm a regular. Yeah, and that's he, called the deal. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, but he's like, but then there, it's, he's, he says it's like a Postmates fee or like a DoorDash fee that oh. I have to give to the, the, the weed dealer <laughs> because he has to go to the pizza place first and then hide it in the pizza. He's got to be tight with the dealer. How many dealers uh, of... Would, would go that. to Domino's yeah, right, right before? Yeah, uh, I know, know. Yeah, sure, I'll get I mean, he's got to be paying him more. Uh, exactly. So <laughs> from weed to um, snackies, because if you smoke weed, then you love snacking. You sure. Did you see the thing about the three-foot-tall Pop-Tart? No. Yes. A three-foot Pop-Tart. This would be so great if I was in college. Because in my college days, that is when we could, especially if you ever lived in a fraternity or sorority house, that everyone could come over. You have a party. Actually, you could have a pajama party. Oh, that's a genius idea. Perfect. I wouldn't want the Pop Tart. I don't like Pop Tarts all that often. Um, brown sugar cinnamon, if I'm going to eat a Pop Tart. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But if they I think had, I eat a Pop Tart once a year, maybe once every two years. And it's because the kids have one left yeah. over. And oh, right look. now, the only Pop Tarts in the house are last year's pumpkin spice that are left over. So they're going to be like bricks. Ew. Yeah. But and I it's w- not my flavor to begin with. I would do it with a, um, uh, I would do it with a toaster strudel, but those are not going to hold as well. No, they're going to go quick. Right. I also could do this if you had a three foot tall Snickers, Twix. Okay. Um, and are you saying lay it out like, uh, like on a, a table and cut it up so people can have pieces of it? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The cops what did lot. you do to us? <laughs> um, I'm By the still way, getting um, over the, the total s- transparency. I'm in the final stages of a summer cold, so at any moment that just happens, the ribbons of phlegm. Allie is at the almost to the end stages mm-hmm. of the summer cold, so yeah, you're getting us at our finest. Did you end up taking any medication at all? Only allergy medicine for two nights in the beginning because I really stuffed up like a brick. Yeah, me it too. It helped when I slept. 
And then that was it. That, that that I haven't been on anything since. I'm a little surprised because you have. I mean, your girlfriend works in the medical field, so mm-hmm. I thought that she was going to bring you home something. No, she brought. She gave me her allergy meds because she knows. She knows the stuff to get. You right, know what I mean? Right. And, and, the and, good stuff. Yeah, she knows what 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 really works and what doesn't. And, you know. I, I assumed that from now on, once you start dating somebody in a certain profession, like you always do something that way. Okay, total transparency on something else too. Yeah. So, <laughs> I this could almost fall in the motto of of pretty much the show that we do, which is you know it's it's. It's not right, but it ain't wrong either, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, new puppy Finn, right? Who I believe is Oh, about- I got a puppy thing for you, too. Okay, this oh, good. is perfect. Who's about nine weeks old now, right? Mm-hmm. So, I've, I, think I, told it, I think I told it in a podcast. Finn had a very rough start to life. I mean, he was a, he's the last surviving member of his litter. Big dogs got a hold of him mm-hmm. and the rest of the litter, and he's the only mm-hmm. one that survived. Now, I remember we told this in an earlier podcast because... I remember making the comment, if we bump into the people in Addison that had the adult pugs in the house, mother and father, and put the whole litter in the barn and let large dogs out to go play, thinking that's a good idea, and it was gonna, and it ended badly for almost every everyone, mm. um, we're going to have a not pleasant meeting. However, that being said, so Finn had a rough start, right? You know, he was, we believe, much smaller than he, or much younger than he really was when he came to us. Like, we thought... Okay, about turning the seven week mark, like six to seven weeks, should be off, you know, puppy formula to, you know, food. Yeah. Well, poor Finn has had some gastrointestinal things where I can't get a solid poop out of the dog. <laughs> like it's always, you know, pudding. And for a long time, yeah. it was a lot of pudding that, the, I mean, he's a tiny thing. He's only yay big. Uh, I, I don't think he weighs two pounds. So, um, still. Yeah, oh, he's still tiny. Maybe two and a half pounds now, three, somewhere in there. I mean, he's, you know, uh, but he's healthy now. Now he's in good shape. But still, it's 50-50. Are we getting soft poop? Are we getting, you know, mm. the the coil? Uh, you, you, you know what I mean. If yeah, you're a dog do. owner, you get it. And um, she goes, you know. It's almost like babies, right? Isn't it like soft until they eat like regular food food and then it starts to well and he eats regular kibble now and so i switched foods for him and ginger because they were itching and i'm like and and actually they were on a food that had lamb as the number one ingredient Mm -hmm. that messed with them so we're now into salmon so this dog's eating better than anybody in the house Mm -hmm. i'll have my salmon now with some Um, capers and lemon juice uh, so anyway he they're doing much better with that and finn's about 50 50 funny thing is if you give the dog a little half tablet of pepto bismol he really does well it's funny you can give dogs pepto i never have i don't know if i've ever been in a situation that i've needed to though either but well, never have then there was a lot of i've mute. given uh junior benadryl oh woo, what kind of dosage is that he's tiny just a half oh okay. yeah yeah so like five mils yeah i mean it's like next to nothing yeah yeah so and it, i don't know why i'm thinking 10 mils is the standard amount i, I don't even I don't know. know but um so anyway there was also a lot of mucus around the you know, the pudding poops. Okay. So with the medical field, 6059, and she literally told, you know, the the head of the clinic, hey, if I bring in a sample and no. send it out, can we test my my dog for C dip? And Wait, um, what's C dip? C dip is uh and this happens a lot in humans. Um, I, I probably won't give you the best definition of it. Well, what do I have to eat to get that? Whoa, it's uh here, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me let me pull up the actual definition for you because there it, it's pretty rough and you have an extremely foul smelling stool as if I don't already. Uh well no but this is like real bad. Hold on. <laughs> uh this is real bad. C defecile infection symptoms and causes. Okay. I'll give you the overview here from right. uh the Mayo Clinic if you will. Okay. Uh, Let's see here. There's a lot of medical terms. It's a bacterium that causes an infection in the colon Mm. and uh, longest part of the large intestine. Symptoms can range from diarrhea to life-threatening damage to the colon. Oh, my God. Actually, if you've been around the bathroom and Allie's in there, it's life-threatening for everybody else. That's true. Hey, Mm -hmm. the bacterium is often called C, well, C. diff. Diff, not dip. Sorry, diff. Illness from C. diff often occurs after using uh, antibiotic medicine. Uh, It mostly affects older adults in hospitals or two-pound pugs, 
puppies, ah. uh, uh, or in long-term care settings. People not in care settings or hospitals uh, also get C. Uh. diff infection. Some strains of the bacterium that cause uh, serious infections are more likely to affect younger people. Symptoms. Are you ready? Are you okay? I'm ready. Okay. I'm, li- I'm five, listening. Within five to ten days after starting an antibiotic, so it could tie to that, but okay. he hasn't been on, on penicillin or anything, uh, symptoms can occur as soon as uh, first day. Mild to moderate infection. Uh, they say basically for dogs, it's because you're around farm animals. Watery diarrhea three oh. or more times a day. Uh, mild uh, belly cramping and tenderness. Severe oh, I've had infections. This before. <laughs> wa- severe infections. Wa- this is a list. Watery diarrhea. Oh my God. As often as 10 to 15 times a day. Belly cramping with pain F- fast heart rate okay i get the point loss of fluids fever nausea di- <laughs> diarrhea heartburn so did did you guys take the poop into the doctor to get tested she hasn't because now it's getting solid again okay all right it could also be giardia what's gr i thought that was an italian like uh oh, version i don't of think you want to eat that giardia <laughs> what is it um i don't know i just know that our friend danielle's dog had giardia so and they got it all situated are, are you giving your dog a probiotic no that was something we were thinking about adding to the diet i think you definitely should i did another round of deworming just to be oh, smart you okay know. all right sounds good that. Um, I won't bore you with Giardia, but it's a type of parasite that lives in the dog's intestines. Oh, that's right. And great. I think can cause the soft stool. Ah, yes, mm-hmm. the pudding poops, if you will. So that was a long way around to tell you that I almost had uh, my girlfriend take our dog's poop into now, take it to the lab. I got a dog thing here in a second. But say it was you and you had some sort of ailment. Would Do you think she would take your poop? Oh, she would the- definitely take my poop. Oh, oh let me tell Zach you. would not. You, oh, well, that's because when you work in the medical field, it's kind of like a mother or 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 a father, whoever the primary uh, par- a caregiver yeah. would be to a young child. Yes. Uh, listen, your your kid's diaper is going to blow out the sides one day. Yes. You just deal with it. I I've, know. I don't think it's a big deal. I have honestly, I have cleaned up our friend's puke before. Oh, same here. I pi- I cleaned up Sanya's cat's puke before. That one's rough. Do it. She, she, she doesn't do it. She won't do it. She's like, nope, I can't handle it. She said, yep. I've done my kids. That's about it. That stuff doesn't bother me. Mm-mm. I would easily. Now, there's a second question, though. <clears throat> oh, but, but to finish your answer, because she's in the field, yeah. it's almost as though they become numb to a lot of it. I mean, I've never been in the medical field. And but you'd take my poop somewhere? I would. But I will. Give here's me a brown bag, please. Here's my zip, a baggie, a Ziploc. Mm, ding, 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 ding. Here's, here's my thing, though. Would you, would it change how, let's say it was you. I'm going to roll reverse this for a second. If you had to take her poop somewhere, would you still be able to get sexy with her? Oh, three kids later. I can handle and poop, puke, whatever. Boogers. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay. Doesn't matter. Because I feel the same. I don't care if I had to take, say Zach had some sort of ailment and I had to take his poop somewhere Mm -hmm. to get tested and I had it, even if it was in a baggie and I saw the poop, I would not be, we wouldn't be kissing that next Friday night, say for instance, after dinner, and I would not be thinking of his turd. Him on the other hand. So it sticks with some people. Him on the other hand, he would, he would not do it. He'd be grossed out. I think he thinks he couldn't be sexy with me, but it's also the same thing about how when men watch their women, ha- when, their women's, when men see the baby coming out of the vagina, uh-huh. and then afterwards they have a hard time being sexual with a that's woman. A, that's a genuine condition. It is, but I think that you could apply this to taking your poop to the doctors. You could. I mean, I think there are just some people that can do it, and other people just can't do it. I, uh, for me, nothing phases me. No, like that. I compartmentalize it. Yeah, you were sick. Poo poo in the bag. Yeah. We are sexy over here after a movie and dinner. That's what we're doing over here. The, yeah. The the two not shall meet. No. I, I am not a, <laughs> a Cleveland. Well, I mean, it depends on what you're into. A Cleveland steamer will never be <laughs> no. in my future. Mm-mm, no. But I also can still just be sexy after seeing your poop. I, I mean, I don't want you to not flush, but if he forgot to flush one day, meh. You go in, you hit the flusher. All right. People are built this. There's all, I think in many people that are in a medical field, there is a level of numbness that comes along with it. Then for the rest of the world, there's just the people that it's like, yeah. I'm so glad that I can just handle anything. 
pretty much. You know, I'm yeah. like, I, I'm the least judgmental person, you know. I'm not sure how I do if I saw somebody fall down the stairs, like say here at the radio station, <laughs> and break an arm and the arm protruded the bone through the skin. Yes. That one might, and I, I listen. Oh, wait, I w- you so you couldn't sleep with them after that? Well, no, 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 not that. I don't know how I do in the moment of, oh, you know what? of dealing with it. I'll tell you what. I think in the moment that I could deal with it, I would just, no. for some reason, just I would roll in and be like, okay, let's take care of it. But as much as, and I, I think recently I said this to you, as much murder and true crime and all of that that I love listening to, <laughs> don't love looking at it. Yeah. I And I, there's this interest that I want to be in the funeral directing field, or I want to be in like in the field of death at some point. <clears throat> Which means, oh my God, if I did that, I would have to go back to school for oh, like two yeah. years. And the, yeah. oh God, because I don't think I could have another job while I was going to funeral school. I really don't. There's this part of me that thinks that I would want that I could, but I think you're learning so much about body parts and how I, how to do things. I think that would have to be my job. I would yeah. have to really save up some money to, that would be like my retirement job I mean, or something. Just remember, you're going into a dead end career. <laughs> reposition myself after that one um but yeah but i I, you know i want to do the funeral thing but then i also am like uh, you know before you ever made that decision i would recommend and and we have i don't know if this is permitted or not but we have connections in the funeral business we do I mean, being the fact that we are kingpins of the mob, we have to have people that know how to dispose of a body, as mm-hmm. you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, I, what I would recommend is is before you hardcore committed to that, mm-hmm. uh, well, one, give me a heads up that you're really thinking about it. I got to start putting, you know, putting the feelers out for a replacement. Um, <laughs> sure. But uh, the, the other <laughs> thing is, is I think you should go and sit in on as much as you could more than once. Yeah. Go through the all em- different ages too. All different ages. Go through the embalming with the uh, funeral director, who I would assume, because we, uh, like I said, we know some people. Mm-hmm. You'd have to go through, and I don't know if that's even permitted. Do you have to get a special slip from the family to say we have a mortician in training? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know how I don't it know works, either. but you know that would be the way to do it because sometimes. Well, it's like people that get a college career and never use it. My brother, Gary. Now, it's funny. He's retired now, but he got a college degree in biology, remembers a ton of it and has applied it to more of his own personal interests. Mm. Uh, But he worked for housing and urban development for the state of New York his entire career from day one until the day he retired. And I mean, it was it's like that. That math doesn't math. You but know? how great is that, though? Because a lot of people will take their passions, they'll make it their career, and then it's not their passion anymore. Oh. So him, what's great about it is he, you said it, it's more of the extracurriculars that the biology comes into play, right? Yeah, he, so there's certain still, times he'll whip something out, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. You were a biology major. Like, if he was into even, like, something with... Uh, what would you be do? What would you do with a biology? I'm trying to think what he. I'm trying to think what extracurricular you would do that biology would come in. He applies. To, okay, so he's big into birds and things like that. Okay, and that's a great example. He, you know, they they follow that. There's different things. You know, um, he's big into vacations. Like they'll do Yellowstone. They'll do different mm-hmm. things. You know. So I'm sure there's certain things that I think it's great because he knows the answer to certain things that. Yep. You know, you... and it's still a love for him. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think he had that interest. That that's fantastic. That's the one thing I will say. Like, I'm glad that we did this, and it didn't stop becoming a love for me. Yeah, you know that happens to a lot of people. One of my girlfriends, you know, whether it's nursing or she got, or you get into, you know, drag racing. Then, and I don't mean drag queens. I mean like actual <laughs> racing on the track. You know, whatever the thing is. You not know, that we're above a marathon of drag queens or no, below that. I mean, let's go. Not at all. But anything. You could use anything. Oh, I got into it because I really thought that I was going to love it. And then the passion is just sucked out of you. Yeah. You know, we're very lucky. And and I will speak for both of us. But, you you know, certainly jump in if I... Don't if speak I, for me. Well, if I misrepresent <laughs> here. I mean, we... It, it, there are da- there are times very short spells. Oh, I can relate this perfectly. There are very short spells where sometimes I don't even want to use the term going through the motions. It's mm. it's not as fun, but it's still always fun. And I mean, we work hard, but in the grand scheme of working for you know, I mean, 
can I honestly say I've never worked a day in my life because I love what I do? Sure, absolutely. But we've worked hard, if that you makes any sense. You say we work hard, but you, I mean, we haven't done anything else in a long time. For So for me to say I work hard, I'm like, but wait a second. I haven't worked as a nurse or I haven't worked at anything no. else that... But think of all the different things it, it, for us. And a lot of people may not realize this. There's a lot of other duties we have besides sitting here doing a podcast or mm. doing the morning show. And if you take out everything that has to do with either the Scott and Allie show or the Scott and Allie, Allie not for air podcast, we do a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I again, will come back to Allie ha handles a ton of our in-house digital, almost, really 99.9 .9 of it. Then you picked up something and I think you made it into a hobby. You do a ton of the social posts and your pictures and looking for the angles and finding this is the way we're going to shoot the video or different things like that. So, you know, you found a passion with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if you haven't, you certainly have sold it like you did. But we we do different things in our line of work. We're not just doing the, a show or right. a podcast. So we are busy. We, there are Now, there are times that it's not as busy, but then it gets busy again. But out of all the years that you and I have worked together, there are very few times that at least I could say I have not enjoyed what I've done. Mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. few times. There have been times where I've had to... Go you know, through the I, motions, you said? What's that? You said go through the motions. Yeah, yeah, it's a little go through the motions, but then it comes back. You know, it's, yeah. it's like, and here's a great way to do it. Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. I was listening last night. So the Cleveland Guardians just had a doubleheader that they lost both. And they were up to five in a row losses. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, oh, well, they got rated the luckiest team in the uh, uh, MLB. And their luck's running out and this and that. And uh, their manager said, you know, every team goes through this. It is just a period where you're going to win, win, win. And then once in a while, it just sort of... It, it right. almost reset. It's like it's not a, necessarily a slump. It's uh -huh. not like you're dead in the water. It's just well, you can't always just go at one level. Can't be awesome every day. I mean, you know, 364 days a year, right. okay. But, Die trying. Yeah, right. So, but but have I ever not enjoyed it? Even when there were times where it wasn't as the as fun as the highest level of fun and we do and and it admittedly and again speaking for me and i hope this echoes for you more days are far more fun than not mm. even when they're busy or whatever i i don't think of doing I, I can't think of a day when I haven't had fun. Even when other shit outside of this place is right. happening in my life. This is, it's been fun. Can't think of a day I haven't laughed at work. I, I know, we do. Can't even think of one. We do. And we Isn't laugh about a lot of stuff. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so true. Okay, this next part is not very funny. But you talked about dogs, so I had to bring this, okay, this yeah. up. And <clears throat> maybe, you, you, maybe you, you will find the humor in it. Because I think that's kind of what we do is find the humor in everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that this is like hilarious, but I could see this same thing coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so, you know, my dog is old and he's 14. And so he is like the, he is my child, right? Yeah. So I have another girlfriend. She has a super old dog and her dog is 16. Beating Junior. Yeah. yeah Junior's, four, there. Junior's almost 14. And so I was talking to um, the, so it's her and her significant other. And I was talking to them about junior getting older and everything. And he was like, well, let me tell you what she said. So when uh, the, the dog has like, you know, sometimes when they're old, they'll go through like a bout of sickness or something. Sure, yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh, is this it? Is this the downward spiral? Exactly. And so their dog just recently had something like that. And juniors had that as well, where something will happen and they'll be sick for like a few days or, you know, oh, they're not eating or something like that. And so she... You know what it could be? What? C. diff. <laughs> oh my God. So she thought, oh no, this is it, right? So here she is. She's like getting ready to like mourn her dog. Yeah, yeah. That it hasn't happened yet. And she says to her significant other, and he totally blew her, uh, blew her out for this. She goes, why couldn't it just be one of my aunts or something that oh. I know, oh. I know. I mean, and she is like, the awkward and, laugh where you're like, oh. Right? And he's like, babe. But, but and I she's get like, it. really? I like, they're old. They've lived a long life and I don't like them as much. I 
I get it. I mean, it's. Not, I think everybody does it. You know, it's like when you drink too much. The next uh, God, I swear, I'll never do that again <laughs> yeah. till next Friday. Right? Uh, yeah. If I was in that situation, like I okay, I get then it. Then I honestly, everyone think of like I'm thinking of my aunts right now. Yeah. So I love my aunts so much. I'm really close to a bunch of my aunts too. So I can't imagine, you know, trading Junior's life for like my aunt Charmaine. You're right. But. <laughs> If you're not as close to your aunt, like I have this other aunt on my mom's side. We're not close to my mom's side at all. So if it was like my aunt Diane or my aunt Joanne, I'd be like, yeah, trade in Joanne. Just Joanne's like that. gone. Oh, Joanne, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. Like, I don't even need you, you Joanne. You could apply the same logic to exes. Oh, yeah, you that's could true. Totally, I mean, now, I. so if you have to do it based on the number of dogs you have, uh -huh. I would have to pick two exes that I could wish would be out. <laughs> we and, only have two major ones. Uh, well, yeah. And well, one I mean, I know there's more than that, but like one's already dead. So <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it'd be easier to apply to an ex, you know. Oh, yeah, like, but exes you tend to not like already. Anyway, ants are kind of like, the, you know. You see them at Thanksgiving. They want to give you a hairy mole kiss. I get it. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh. Exactly. I mean, and, and it's the same with coworkers. Like some of my coworkers I really like. Could I trade? Like if it was, if we were. Here if, we go. If <laughs> it's a movie and it was, we're on the edge of a building and somebody has to jump. And if it's junior or one of our coworkers, oh. Depending on the coworker, there's will, a shove coming. Exactly. I'll take my <laughs> pinky and be like, oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh my no, God. I, I understand what she's saying. I really do. Because there are, you know, you're, you're so tied to your pet. It becomes like a child. Yes. Oh, yeah. My um, my child. Your, your <laughs> my, child. My junior has been with me. He goes to, to trips with me. He goes to breweries with me, to stores with me. He goes everywhere. With me. I mean, we sleep in the same. Well, we were until Zach came along. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. Let's push him off a building. <laughs> Just <laughs> push kidding. him out of the bed, all right? <laughs> yeah, right. Man, let's not kill him. <laughs> no. Uh, geez. no, definitely not. But yeah. Was, we so, don't need our own podcast being set up for another murder podcast right, from somebody else. Right. Allie but, did it. But, but it was a definitely awkward laugh. But I was like, I'm going to grow. I, I totally do. Yeah. Um, now, listen, real quick before we get out of here, did you want to call me babe again before? Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> so I think this was a first. I always. <laughs> Hold on. The lungs are coming out. <laughs> I always say Zach when I'm talking about Scott. Yeah. I always say Scott when I'm talking about right. Zach. And I'll be like, this hey. is this is 18 years of day to day to day working. Oh, God. Sometimes 12 hours a day. You know, and, and it just that's what it is. We we have Monday through Friday more time together than we don't. So just today, I don't even know what I was looking you at. You were pulling up a video of some boobs. Who's Not boobs? a video, a picture of boobs with uh, someone oh! that you know. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> that's right. So every day... <laughs> I will no okay maybe not every day but frequently <laughs> I you know you're looking through social and I will send Zach reels but he doesn't have Instagram <laughs> so he doesn't get them so I have to like go home and be like okay now look at this yeah okay now look at this one okay now look at this one so but another thing that comes up is there's somebody on my feed that I always see this person's boobs and so <laughs> I always love to show Zach this person's boobies and i don't know why i just i just do it it's like a daily thing yes yes i'm like here you go here you go this uh, is your daily dose is exactly what you said so i the, so then the boobs came up on my feed and i'm looking down i'm sitting here i'm sitting across from scott i almost said zach i'm sitting across from scott like i do and i'm just down here and i was like hey babe i mean <laughs> Scott, I wanted to show Scott the boobs too. No, it, he did not like them. By the no, way, I don't ever. I told you, I never wanted to see they. They were covered with hair, which sounds no, really that good. wasn't even hair. What was that? Uh, I'm not uh, now. I can't tell you because I don't want it to get back to this person. Oh, okay. Well, it looked like I mean. So I didn't. <laughs> this just has me going. I so I didn't actually see full boob. It was no. lots of cleave and. But he had no interest in it. No, and is I, that, this, is I've that, never had interest. I've told you I don't want to see it. Zach neither. But that's part of the fun game. Oh so yeah, it's, it's like, like I mean, a surprise. Yeah, it's so, like if I leave a floater in the in the toilet. Oh, <laughs> that's for you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so oh my god, I just said that's for you, babe. Um, <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, babes. Bye. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Wasn't that fun? That was fun. Do us a favor, will you? Subscribe. Share the Scott and Alley Not For Air podcast. Touch our buttons. We know you want to. 